Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a video talking all about clickbait titles, my opinions, my thoughts, and I want to also hear yours. This is not just me spilling out things and then you guys being like, no words. I want to hear your words. I want to hear what you guys think. So let's dive on into it. This is me diving in apparently. I quit swimming lessons. Can you tell? Diving? So I think what I want to say about clickbait titles is I... I feel like the word clickbait always has a negative connotation. So with this whole video, I want you to just take away that negativity surrounding clickbait titles, throw it away, throw it away and just hear what I have to say. And I want to hear what you guys have to say after this. So basically if we take away all the negativity surrounding clickbait titles, focus on what it actually is. So there are YouTubers out there who make money on their videos. I would say, a good amount of YouTubers who you watch make money on their videos and support themselves, most likely, on their videos. Now I want you guys to think about what you need to do to get money on YouTube. People watching your videos, obviously. Great. So the next question is how do you get people to watch your videos? You know that you need to make money by having people click on them. How do you get them to click on them? Clickbait. So it's basically like a fishing pole with a little, you know, bait on the end for a fish to come and you can fish it out. Clickbait is basically the exact same thing. You're fishing with your little bait on the end, which is the title, for a person in the YouTube community to come and swallow up the little bait you have and watch your video. So I think with clickbait, I have kind of a different opinion than most people. I think it's okay in certain situations. I don't like when people have titles that don't relate to their video at all. So let's say their video is a Q&A and in the Q&A someone asks them if they have a boyfriend and they say no and they call the title my new boyfriend or boyfriend or something along those lines when they don't even have a boyfriend and the video is not even about a boyfriend. I think that is kind of misleading and just kind of I, I think it has good intentions but it's also just deceptive and I don't really like that. Now if their video is, I don't know, Q&A and it's talking about, you know, um, everything around like dating and all that stuff and they have the title like boyfriend, um, crushes, like different things like that, I think that's okay. I think it's okay if the majority of your video is talking about the topic in your title that's fine, but if it's just one sentence and you put that as a title, I don't like that. If it has no relevance to the other parts of the video. So like I said with that Q&A example, I don't like that. But I get why people do it and you know, I've been posting videos like my normal schedule and everything, but it's been harder for people to be interested in them, I feel like. I feel like, you know, I have a really amazing core group of you guys who watch my videos. I want to bring in new people, obviously, and I feel like people aren't wanting to come into the community um, so we aren't really like growing or anything it's just kind of like at a stagnant I think that's the right word um, level right now with subscribers and views and all, everything which is fine but I can kind of understand the appeal and I think it's okay if you do it in certain ways like I said a few videos back I talked about um, how I was thinking about taking a YouTube break and maybe stopping videos and all that stuff so I called my title quitting YouTube with the question marks. So that implies that it's not me quitting YouTube. You know, I said like, let's chat, quitting YouTube and, or let's talk, quitting YouTube and chit chat or something. So I can understand how it's a little bit misleading, but I do talk about that and I feel like that's okay. But when you talk about like a sentence and it doesn't relate to the entire video or most of the video, I think that's when it's a little misleading. Um, I feel like a lot of people title their Q and A's um, a really intriguing question that someone asked or a statement that they gave and when you click on the video it's a Q&A and I think that's kind of messed up when you click on a Q&A and most of the questions are like what's your dog's name he 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 like that's just that's not what you clicked on to see thumbnails can also be clickbait obviously but I'm talking more about like the title clickbait I think the title of my video right now is kind of funny like this is clickbait or this is not clickbait I don't know what I decided to call it but yeah um, let me know what you guys think. If you make videos, do you use clickbait? For the most part, I don't think I do. I think the most controversial, if you want to even call it that title I have ever put on a video would be the quitting YouTube one. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty sure all of mine are like very straightforward. 
but that also isn't always the most intriguing for people, so I feel like it's a... It's a kind of a toss-up. Do you kind of give up being honest for people to watch your videos and promote what you think they want to see? Or do you just give them the content and see if they want to see it or not? Um, I think people are using clickbait as kind of a way out of revamping their channel or making it more interesting. YouTubers are struggling with people watching their videos. They should do something different. They should make something creative. They should do something inspiring or motivational or I don't know, they just they shouldn't rely on deceiving people to get the clicks. They should, you know, try to I don't know, do something that wants people to watch the video without it being deceptive. Um like, you know, making their title just what the video is about and making the video what people want to see. Does that make sense? Basically, I feel like they should not focus on the title or the thumbnail to bring people in as opposed to the content. And um, I think if you can figure out what that is for you, that's perfect. I'm still figuring that out for sure, but you know, maybe it'll happen someday. We will see. So. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know your thoughts on clickbait. Let me know if you guys like what I said about, you know, taking out the deceptive ways and really focusing on the content and making the content something people want to see without having to deceive them to see it, if that makes sense. And also with clickbait, a lot of people click on the video and then just click away because it's not actually what they wanted to see. So there's that. So you don't necessarily make the most amount of money because they're, if they're not watching the entire video, I'm pretty sure with YouTube at least, you get paid for how much people watch, not the fact that they clicked on it. So there's also that. So let me know what you guys think about clickbait down below. I love you guys so much. Please be sure to subscribe, comment thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.